In the last video, we had a look at the used callback hook, which is used for performance optimization. As it turns out, there is another hook which is also concerned with performance optimization, and that is the use memo hook. In this video, let's understand with an example how to make use of the memo hook. I'm going to start off by creating a new file called counter.js. Within the file, I'm going to use the snippet rfce to create a functional component. Within the component, I'm going to create two state variables using the state hook. So import use state. And then within the component, we create two counter variables. Counter1, set counter1, initial value of 0. And the second, counter2, set counter2, initial value of 0. Next, I'm going to create two functions to increment the count value. Increment1, which is equal to an arrow function, where we call set counter1 passing in counter1 plus 1. Similarly, const increment2, which is again an arrow function, we call set counter2 passing in counter2 plus 1. Finally, in the JSX, I'm going to add two buttons to display the respective count values along with a click handler to increment the count values. So div tag button count one, which is counter one. On click, we increment one. Similarly, the second button div tag button count two on click increment 2. All right, let's include the component in app.js. And head to the browser. You can see that we have two counters. I click on the first button and its count value increments. Click on the second button, the second count value increments. Nothing that we have not learned already. Well, now we have a new requirement. Next to the first counter, we need to indicate whether the count value is an odd number or an even number. Sounds simple again. So let's go back to VS Code and create a function that contains the logic. Const is even, which is an arrow function. And within the body, we return counter1 modulus 2 is equal to 0. Next, in the JSX, we include a span tag and then we check is even, we display even, else we display odd. All right, let's save this and test it out. Initially, you can see that counter 1 is 0, which is even. I increment counter 1 and the text changes to odd. Increment again and it toggles between odd and even. If we increment counter 2 on the other hand, you can see that the text remains unaffected. Now, let's take our example to the next level. At the moment, we have a simple is even function which takes hardly any time to execute. In real world applications though, you will sometimes come across logic that takes considerable amount of time for execution. That is, a function that isn't so good with performance. It could be, for example, fetching thousands of items, mapping that array, filtering that array, and even sorting that array. Now we don't really have that kind of logic here, so let's induce some slowness into our function. So within the is even function, I'm going to declare a variable, let i is equal to zero, 
and then add a while loop that simply iterates for a long time. So while i is less than 2 followed by 9 zeros, you're simply going to increment i, so i plus plus. So the loop doesn't really affect our return value, but it does slow down the rate at which we compute whether counter 1 is odd or even. Now let's save the file and see what happens in the browser. To start off, we have initial count set to 0 for both the counters. I click on increment counter 1 and you can see that there is now a second or two delay before the UI updates. I'll click again, so watch closely. See that? Our UI is slow in updating. And this is because in the UI, we are rendering whether the number is odd or even. And that logic is from the EaseEven function, which as it turns out is really slow. Now this of course is expected. If the number changes, React needs to check if the new number is odd or even. But take a look at this. I now click on increment 2 and still there is a delay with the UI updates. Watch closely. I click and after a second or two, counter 2 increments. This is strange though, isn't it? Why is counter 2 slow as well? Well, that is because every time the state updates, the component re-renders. And when the component re-renders, is even function is called again. The function is slow and hence, even when we update counter 2, the UI update is slow. So what we need is a way to tell React not to recalculate certain values when unnecessary, especially the ones which take a long time to compute. In our example, we need to tell React not to calculate whether counter 1 is odd or even when we are changing counter 2 values. This is where the use memo hook comes into picture. Use memo is a hook that will only recompute the cached value when one of the dependencies has changed. This optimization helps to avoid expensive calculations on every render. The way use memo works is very similar to how use callback works. First, import use memo from React. Next, within the component, call the use memo hook. As the first argument, we pass in the function whose return value needs to be cached. In our example, this would be the arrow function to calculate if a number is odd or even. So I'm going to cut this arrow function and paste it as the first argument. As a second parameter, we need to specify the dependencies. Our function depends on the value of counter1. That is, whenever counter1 changes, we are telling React to recompute the value and not use the cached value. So in the array, specify counter1. Use memo returns a cached value which we are going to assign to the variable is even. Finally, in the JSX, I'm going to remove the parentheses. Is even is not going to be a function call because it now stores a value. All right, let's save the file and test it out. I'm going to click on counter one and you can see that the delay is still present. Now that is because we need to recalculate is odd or even when the value changes. When I click on counter two, however, you can see that the updates are way faster. This is because React is now using the cached value of isEven function to display whether count1 is odd or even. Since the value never changed for counter1, there is no need to recompute this odd or even value. React will simply use the cached value from the previous render. This is how useMemoHook can be used for performance optimization. Now if I go back to the code, 
you might feel that use callback and use memo are very similar. What is the difference? Well, the difference is that use callback caches the provided function instance itself, whereas use memo invokes the provided function and caches its result. So if you need to cache a function, use callback. And when you need to cache the result of an invoked function, use memo. All right, that is about use callback, use memo, and performance optimization with hooks. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.